everybody. Today we are going to be talking about photography. I'm going to show you my little tips, my tricks along the way on how I take my photos uh, just with my phone. It's not that hard. So we have our gorgeous candles and we're going to be using those as the prop because the last couple of days that's all I've been doing is taking photos and loading them up to my Shopify site. So let's get going. I'll show you exactly what I do and um, this is going to be fun. All right, everyone, so this is my kitchen table and just one of the chairs in my kitchen area, nothing too fancy. So what I do is I actually use things for the backdrop. So when we take photos such as, you know, photos of this, um, usually I put them together in a group and take a photo and then I'm going to do a single one as well. Now what the chair actually does is it creates a beautiful backdrop. So this chair has a linen kind of texture on it. You could use it with so many different chairs. Even a really old chair, it doesn't matter because we're going to slightly blur the background out. And in between this video, I am actually going to um, pop in some photos that I've taken so you can see exactly what I mean. Now, the trick with this is actually playing around with the settings on your phone. It's really, really important um, to play around with the settings and just understanding a little bit about, you know, how we actually do this. So I'm going to, you know, I will actually show you that um, as we go along. But for now, we're really going to talk about the props and what you need. So like I said, we've got that. We've got a bit of greenery because that's super important. And I'm going to show you something that I did wrong at the start, which I loved it, but it's kind of not very modern. So that's why, um, you know, I thought I'd show you some stuff. And here is a board that I use. Now, I just got this from Kmart, $12.00. And let me just take away these for a minute and I'm going to show you how nice this is going to look. And this will give you an idea because one thing I've noticed, lifestyle images sell. Uh, so if you just take a picture, you know, something boring, um, people just aren't really going to listen as much um, and pay attention to what you're trying to sell. So... You know, you kind of need something like this. Now, can you see already this white and the bone color in this is picking up the back of the chair. So that's why it looks really good. And you'll be able to see that lots of my candles have already been burnt because I burnt them during the images. So if you can see this and we'll move the camera. So literally this is going to be my shot. I always do my shots vertical and then I cut them down to a square. So try and keep all the photos the same. Now, if this was your lifestyle, you know, you may have your hand and it's always my hand in the picture um, unless, you know, it's a really skinny, beautiful hand with long nails, then it will be my daughter, Annie. But basically, you know, you want to take something like this, a lifestyle shot, or what you can also do is take something like that. And, you know, it's showing people that, you know, trim your wicks. It just, it's also telling a bit of a story about, you know, making you feel comfortable and beautiful. And this is very modern. But if I started putting flowers and everything in this, it kind of takes away a little bit of that modern look, unless... The flowers are flowers that are on trend. And yes, flowers do go in and out on trend. So you really got to think about that. So now I'm going to show you another trick that I do in some of my images. And I hope this one helps because it really has helped people click on my site. And I'm telling you, even after the last week adding my new um, images, I'm shocked how many people have been hitting my site a lot. Um, some days it's more than 50, more than I would usually get, which is a lot for me because I don't get thousands of people hit my site. So usually if I get, say, 30 people hit it, then, you know, once I've changed these, I'm getting up to 80 people. So it's crazy, just the photos. So anyway, we're going to do a little bit more of a lifestyle shot and I'm going to give you a bit of an idea. All right, another great thing we can do, let's move this out the way and we will maybe put this color one here. This is a peach color one. Another one you can do is have something like this. Now this is just um, tea. So this is, a, you know, like a cold tea. And so basically it's picking up the color, but I'm just going to add that in the back background and we're going to put like a little cookie with it. Now, what this is actually doing, and we'll put this just at the start, always make sure you don't put it that way. You want things sideways. It looks better. Now, this portion we're going to blur out with the iPhone. So I use an iPhone. I do have a brand new iPhone, which is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. But before that, I have shot images with an iPhone 8, a 7. So, you know, you can do it with lots. And, you know, you can do it with Nokia's and all of those too. But obviously, you need the good camera on it. 
Now, this is showing a lifestyle of light a candle, have a nice cup of tea and just relax. That's kind of what we're selling in this image. Now, if you wanted to sell fun summer days, you would put some fruit and things like that in that picture and maybe, you know, you could use the same drink. Um, you could even use a water, you can use a champagne cup, lots of different things like that. Um, it really does sell. Now, if it was a summery one, you know, I have some of these raspberries from my fridge. You could just pop them around the bottom here. I'm not going to because I don't want to waste these gorgeous raspberries. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. You could just put a few in here. Now, the one thing I've learned is less is more. So if I start putting too much on this, it's, you know, then it's all about everything else. Now, the focus is this candle. So you want to blur out this background. So on your iPhone, you know, basically, once you're taking the photo, you are going to tap on this, the middle of the screen where this is. And what that's doing is making the focus all about that. Always use portrait mode. That is my biggest tip. Um, I never knew how to do that, but definitely you need to use portrait mode. So now we are going to go into another room of my house. And this is, you know, our home is almost 100 years old. We've been renovating it. And my bathroom, I have not renovated at all. But I wanted to show you how you can use a really old, outdated area to, to produce beautiful photos. Now, after this little section here in the video, I am actually going to pop in some um, photos so that you can see and we'll put some music and then we're going to go to the next room and I'll pop in some images for you for each room um, as well. Here, everyone, this is my old um, bathroom. It is not renovated and you can see it's got scratches and marks and everything on the wood. And this marble piece that you can see here in the background, that is not my tile. I've actually just stuck, um, it's actually one of the boards, you know, like a photography board in the background. So then when I take the picture, I can literally cut everything else out. Now I've put these photos, these um, flowers here, although I love flowers and I have them everywhere. It does make it look a little bit old ladyish, so that's why you know I changed my theme and took the flowers away. Um, but if you wanted to use this, you could. You know, I've just got like a marble decanter. It was only from Kmart. It's nothing super expensive. And then, of course, you know, you can do this and cut um, images out. Now, something that's good if you can kind of see just over here. Uh, can you see how I've got that old-fashioned window screen? Something like that looks really beautiful in the photo because what it does is it just adds that lifestyle of a window. Um, and, you know, like you would need to sort of prop up your candle more. You can put it on a table or something or put, you know, like a clear perspex box or a wooden box or some wooden pieces. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, that gives you a bit of an idea, doesn't it? So, and, of course, the vase that I've got here, which is only a cheap $6 vase, it's really textural, so that just adds to the whole element if you can kind of see nice and close. So that is another thing. Like I said, the flowers look beautiful, but try and make sure that everything's cohesive. There's no good having blue flowers, um, you know, with a yellow jar because it might look a bit silly and um, not on um, trend. So, like I said, and now we're going to go to another room so I can show you something else. Okay, so now I am in my daughter Annie's room and this is her makeup desk and look how disgusting it is. I mean, she's like every teenager that spills makeup and whatever else on here. But I wanted to show you that doesn't matter how bad the area is, we can fix this. So all we need is like a little tray. So I've got my tray here and I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera, but I'm just trying to get you the best view. So basically what I do is put something like that here. We put the thing here and then we are going to get up super duper close like this. We'll move all of these things away. But this um, particular makeup thing that you can see in the corner here, it just really adds to a nice photo. And then of course, we're going to add some greenery. And um, let me just show you what this one is that we're gonna use. 
Now, this greenery that I've got, it's just a plastic greenery, but they're kind of like a little bit natural looking and it's really on trend at the moment, little daisies and more natural. So if you can kind of see this view, this is a really nice view. I used these flowers. You can hold them up in the air as well, just so that you have a couple dangling down um, and you know maybe you just want a couple like this or like this and then like I said we're going to blur out the background because it's all about the candle so like I said there's so many things you can do and I've learned so much along the way of my journey of taking photos I honestly really and truly have um, so I'm going to pop up some pictures of these things here and now let's go over and I'm going to film on my iPhone so that you can see exactly uh, what I'm doing. All right, everybody, here we are and we are actually on my camera how I take my photos. So down the bottom, you can see it says video, photos, and of course, um, we're going to go across to portrait. That's how I take all of my images. Now, I'm sitting in my studio. You can see my scale there. Now, if you took a photo here, you would not need to stress at all because we can actually blur that out. Now, when we've got, you know, our product here, so for instance, I'm just sitting, like I said, in my studio. So here I've got, you know, this is just like a little fake um, coral, I guess, like a little white coral. So if you wanted to take a picture of a coral, for instance, then we're going to have, let's put in another candle. And you can see how it says move further away. That's because it's, you know, I put it on portrait. So now let's just pretend we are going to take this, okay? Like I would light this. You could even do shots like this so that you're holding... Um, um, it just like that and so basically what we want to do is we want to take our shot and then from there we are actually going to blur out the picture now I'm sorry if the phone's moving but I am actually holding this by hand so now let's just pretend we are going to take the picture so we're just going to you know and make sure you get a lot of things in the background because we can take that out so we're just going to pretend we're going to take our photo okay so we've got our photo here and now we want to go in and edit it so let's just go and edit it so here you can see we've got my photo now you can see it's not looking too beautiful and I'm going to show you a couple different things you can do so we want to push edit on this photo so on my website I put everything in a square so I'm just pushing on crop then I'm going to go into square because I want to make this into a square and then we can kind of move this you know wherever we want it so generally for me what I'm going to do is I want to make sure the background's kind of good I mean this red um the words that you can see that's kind of not good but you know you get the hint what we're talking about so now if I want to adjust this what I'm going to go into is there's a couple different things number one I'm just going to push adjust and then we're going to go to the exposure and I'm going to move the light now I'm going to go to the next thing and move something else and highlight and so on. So this is what we're going to do. And if you can see that shadows to that, can you see how it moves to light to dark? This is what you can do to just to see how you're going to, you know, make it look beautiful. And it's really about what you want. So if say, for instance, you love that. Now, the last thing you're going to go through is the number F. And if you don't have this in portrait setting, you can't do this blur. So it's on number F and I'm just going to move this dial down. Now, can you see how the background has blurred uh, straight away and it is looking really nice? And then we're just going to go back to the crop. Now, if the if the um, image isn't straight, you can do this. So this is literally going to crop your image however you like. It's just moving it and then we can move it, you know, bigger or smaller in the screen, however you want. So you can see from that messy background, we've already got this kind of look. So I hope that does make sense um, of you actually doing something like this. So anyway, like I said, that is just something that we're going to talk about. Now, if we are going to take a photo, let's just get out of this and we're going to go back in. So we're in portrait mode. Now, if you actually go over the top like I'm doing here and it says move further away and that's because I'm too close and if you're close, it won't do the blur. Now, I'm just going to hold my finger, just tap my finger on the candle and then I'm going to push it up. So you can see there's a sunlight. Now, that is going to add a lighter or you can see it's going to make it dark. So this is generally what I do. Take the photo again. Now let's bring it up now you can see this is going to look good and let's just go in and we're just going to once again do the square 
and um, now can you see already how much better this is looking we're just going to get this whole white look you know you maybe want to bring the candle to the side a little bit um, and this is basically an easy way on how you can do a photo and doesn't it look good so that's pretty much as easy as it is um, and I hope that makes it a little bit easy so like I said just play around with the camera you need to go into the settings that's how you take photos always try and keep it in portrait mode take lots of photos I delete lots so sometimes I might take 50 or 60 and I'm only going to use four uh, but you know you may just take one or two and love all of those photos and you get better as you go along so hopefully like I said that makes sense I was going to take the photos in my daughter's room but it is the evening now so it's got a little bit late and it's quite dark in there and um, it's much much lighter in um you know my making my creative making sort of room so I hope like I said this really does make sense to you I hope that you know at the end of the day uh you guys can all make some money uh you know of course doing all of these things because this does save you money and then of course people see this on your site it looks really professional and then they'll come back and um you know hopefully buy your products so make sure you give me a thumbs up if you love the video. Of course, please join me on Patreon. I do give away these tips and tricks on there. It's really casual on my um, Patreon. I don't stick to certain days or anything like that, but I often just do random posts and different ideas. So I will do a photography thing on there. I've just done one not so long ago. Um, but anyway, like I said, I hope this does help and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye friends.